So we are starting with some flatware today instead of a hat. I know last week I said it felt like every Monday morning we started the week with selling a baseball cap. But this time we've got some Oneida flatware that sold. These are serving pieces. And there was four of them and they sold for $24.99. Let me double check that. Um, we had listed... Uh, I think I mentioned it. I think this was in a what sold. This pattern was in a what sold like last week, I think, and some pieces that had sold. So we had divvied up this lot that we had. I think it was missing like salad forks or something. So we couldn't just sell it as a whole big lot because Chateau is okay. It like sells. Um, it just doesn't sell for a ton. And so I had debated like, oh, I could just make a big lot and just kind of sell it and move it on but I think it was missing something like salad forks or some such thing. So, okay, so I'm just scrolling, looking for my actual prices. We love selling stainless flatware. We're trying to get back into listing more of it. And um, one thing that I, just as a quick tip, when we um, list pre-owned flatware, Unless there's something very specific, damaged or wrong or whatever on the flatware, I usually just have kind of a generic condition statement. Um, I say, and this one's not showing like here the complete statement. I noticed that in my little template for flatware, either Mr. Pishposh changed the template or, or something or I need to update it or whatever, but it was basically... We just say signs of late use consistent with pre-owned flatware, such as from washing, stacking, or storing. So that kind of covers hard water stains, things like that. Um, and what I usually add to it is that it would, and I just say it would fit in well with your everyday set. So it's, you know, it's, they're not expecting something brand new. They're just, ex you know, getting something that probably matches the flatware that they already have that they've used quite a bit. So yeah, $24.99 on that. And then we sold a necktie. So I think this actually sold on the 3rd. We're talking March 4th through 10th for this video, um, but it didn't get paid until the 4th. So I just included it in this video. This sold very quickly. Burberry so neckties, I was talking about that last week when people, you know, comment on my necktie videos about not being able to sell neckties. And I say, that's fine. And, um, you know, this, the, the cashier did, I feel like I told this story before. So if I told this story on the channel, let, you know, you don't have to let me know, <laughs> just bear with me. But I brought I was, I now will look at all the ties, right? So kind of like I talked about in the live we did the other day about belts and now I'm looking at the belts. And so now I'm very thorough looking at the ties because I know certain things to look for. And so people are like, you know, ties don't sell. They're really hard. Well, of course, Burberry is going to be a good brand. But the point is I wouldn't have found the tie if I didn't look at that section. Now, if I had just said to myself, well, ties don't sell. I'm just not going to check that section at all. I wouldn't have seen this Burberry tie just sitting there right on top and I brought it up to the register and um, I think I did tell this part of the story I brought it up to the register and she charged me like 50 cents for it because she said ties she's like nobody's I don't even sell ties right so anyway um, I was happy to see this Burberry tie and I listed it. It took a few days and I took an offer for $40 on that one. It's kind of the Novacek, but it's not quite the traditional Novacek. It's in a variation with different colors, but $40, 50 cents into $40 is super awesome to me. And then finally we did sell a hat that day. <laughs> this is a, just a Kubota hat. Um, in a pastel orange that sold for $18.99. Kubota hats seem to do pretty well for us. We've sold them before. This just sold for $14. It's some attachments for a Dyson vacuum cleaner. I know some vacuum cleaners themselves and vacuum cleaner attachments for the expensive vacuums can do pretty well. 
Um, obviously not this one. <laughs> so I just want to, I think, I want to say that we got this at our little thrift clearance center. That's the type of place we usually pick things like this up. So hopefully that's where we got it so that we actually... I feel like we've had it a while. I don't know if it's been listed a while. So uh, $14, we just took an offer on that. Cute little um, tin. Uh, I th Mr. Pishbosh says it's from the 80s. Everetti batteries. So if you open it, uh, was it empty? No. It it's meant to hold like little screwdriver, mini screwdrivers, but there was parts of it missing, right? So it was just, um, it's like a shaped like a battery. It's a little tin can meant to hold like a mini screwdriver set. So we just picked this up in one of our travels, one of our road trips, and it sold for $18.99. Another set of flatware. This was a full set of Oneida. It's a more current pattern. I think the pattern is not discontinued yet. Um, but it's just a nice, solid, kind of heavy-duty set of flatware. And um, the pattern was called Voss. I got the whole big lot of it for $10. Um, so I made up a service for 8 And I think I have enough left to make a service for 4 Another service for 4 and I just need to do that. I don't know why I just didn't do it immediately, but I need to do this fairly soon so I can just kind of sell similar off of this one and just change the amounts. But it sold for $51 is the offer I took since I already was only $10 into it and I have more of it to sell. Probably another, you know, well, I'm going to say $25, $30 for the next for the next bunch that I've got. And then another item that sold fairly quickly, and I would say that flatware sold probably within a week or so. Um, it sold pretty quickly. This sold within a day. This is a brass wire basket. We picked it up at the ongoing estate sale that we've been going to and just thought it was really unique and it sold for $30 like we said, like probably overnight. And then if you remember this uh, twin flannel duvet comforter cover, um, so I found that I found two of the flannel um, comforter covers. They're Eddie Bauer. It's Eddie Bauer Home. And I, when I first found them, I kind of paid up a little bit. I we had it in a haul video one time. I bought two of them and I just, they're a little bit older and I just knew the pattern was very lodge looking, very south, kind of southwest, maybe western more like. And I just thought they would do pretty well, even though it was really hard to find comps. Like I couldn't find, and some other Eddie Bauer flannel comforter covers eh, did okay. But I kind of went with my gut. I think I paid like $13 a piece or something. And then, uh, so we already sold one. And then we sold, we had this other one listed, but then, or we had it as a quantity too, I can't remember. But then like a couple weeks later at the thrift store, I found the max, the matching pillow sham. So it was like it got donated later or something, but obviously it had to be the same person. So we took the one remaining comforter cover and the pillow sham thing and we put it together. And it sold for $50.99, you know, not crazy, crazy high uh, return on that one. But it turns out the all three pieces had gone to the same buyer. I, we didn't realize that at the time. Um, but when we got feedback on this one, they said they were a repeat buyer and that they would come back to our store again. So that's how I figured that out. These two neckties sold for $21.00. And 24 cents. Um, they one had I found them together and they were at our little clearance center, so I just paid probably pennies that day. And one had a label and one didn't, so I decided to just put them together. And they're just square end knit neckties, and that's those seem to do good for us, you know, all different brands, all different 
the brand on these were Cacherelle Paris. Like, it, it didn't, it wasn't like a super high-end brand or anything like that. Next up was a pair of Filson pants. We took an offer for $48 on these. And you guys remember when I found the Filsons, all, I found a, like quite a few pairs of Filsons all at once at the thrift store. These were an interesting pair of sunglasses. I think we just got them at a little local thrift. They were, you know, Mr. Pitchposh likes to dig in the glasses and in the sunglasses section. You know, that might be a video. You never know. Um, but anyway, they were called, it's C-E-B-E, -E, and he he just thought they were very interesting looking. They have, they're an aviator style, but they just had this really cool marbled look to them, and he found comps. They're made in France, the frame anyway, and so we took an offer for $59 for that, so I'm sure we paid probably like a dollar at the thrift store. Then next up, personal item, this um, hardwood flooring stapler, hammer, and staples. Um, you know, it sold for $225. Mr. Pishposh is just kind of weeding down and, and getting, weeding out some of the tools that he probably will not need again in the future um, as he narrows down and he uh, narrows down the type of um, carpentry work that he'll do in the future and if any so I think he'll always do a little bit I'm pretty sure okay Sitka gear baseball hat it sold for 14 we took a like major we either took a major offer or we this was still when our um uh we had a sale I think that was the week before so I don't know but we just, we're always happy when the hats move. So I think Mr. Pishbosh was just ready for that one to be gone. So $14 for that one. $15 for this one, Hoyt Archery. We've sold that company, Hoyt. We've sold it a few times. You know, never big, big money, but we seem to find it fairly often. And then this little um, creamer is a restaurant where... Creamer by McNichol. I'll do the thing. McNichol China. And I just was cracking up because if when I have vintage stuff, I always find like vintage things and I'm like, oh, I'm going to list it. I'm going to list it. Well, if I'm not listing fast enough, Mr. Pishbosh will take it and list it. You know, it's, it's a not a bad problem to have, right? But I just, it was funny because once it sold, I was like looking and I was like, his description was like dancing girls, right? Which is what it looks like. <laughs> but I think when he found it on replacements.com, it might have said like girls dancing or something like that. But dancing girls just kind of, to me, sounds like a, a show. <laughs> and these are probably actually like Greek. They kind of give me that like nymph, I don't know, three nymphs or something like that or whatever. Um, but anyway, you know, I, we, I don't always, sometimes it doesn't really matter, right? Twenty two forty nine is what this sold for. People were able to find it. And I can't remember I if, because he found it on replacements, because I think that's where he got that, you know, phrase about the girls dancing or whatever. So I don't think there was a specific pattern name on replacements.com. There might be one in general, like from catalogs or something like that, but we didn't go deeper into that research. I just like restaurant wear, especially if it has like a picture or a top mark or something like that. These three uh, copper little bowls, you know, sometimes for us copper items sell really fast and sometimes they don't. These sold pretty quickly for $30. Um, I think these just came from that ongoing estate sale too. So a lot of metalware and type of things were, I think we might even have gotten them at the same time as that brass wire basket. Next up is a pair of cats. These were in my collection for a little while. I have a bunch of these little cat figurine kind of mod looking ones. 
um, but I was weeding some of that out, and these sold for $24.99. It turned out they were Andrea by Sadek, 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 Sadek. Um, and it, they were just missing the sticker, but we figured it out by, um, I should say Mr. Pishbosh figured it out just by like a Google Lens search or something like that. He found another pair with the, with the sticker. $24.99. Um, we got good feedback. They made it there safely, but she thought they would be bigger. I think she said in the feedback, but anyway, we have measurements in the listing. So I'm sorry she thought they would be bigger. I don't know how big she thought they'd be, but and then a Western shirt just sold for $25. The brand is H bar C. Uh, long tail is always a good thing in Western shirts, $25 for that one. Just to plain, you know, nothing like embroidered or anything, which would have raised the price quite a bit. A uh, lighter, I think, I think I did a haul video. Did I? Anyway, I had gotten, you know, a kind of a tray of random things from our clearance center. And this was... There was a few different lighters on there. So this one turned out to be AP Elton Paul and Pilgrim. And it did have a um did have a monogram on there, but that's okay. It sold for $30. We sold this hat. The hat is called the brand is called Gorin Brothers. Um hat makers since 1835. Anyway, it's like a fedora and a straw and um anyway, it's come it's supposed to be coming back to us. The buyer well, just didn't like it. I guess the texture of it, I don't know. He did, he said these should have I can't even remember. They should either be stiffer or they should be softer. I can't remember which way it went. Um so he didn't like that, so he's sending it back. So We'll see what happens. He has not shipped it yet, so we'll see if he does ship it. And he opened the return a little ways after I think he had gotten it, but. And the C clamp, pretty large one, 12 inches, sold for $20. Again, I don't know if Mr. Pishposh picked that up recently or if this was something that we've just had as we ha as we do. <laughs> I look this sold for $29.99. Look at this. This is by this is a towel holder, obviously. Vintage 60s. But this is uh now I wanna say, yeah. It's plastic, right? So it's the it's by Dart. Dart is the company, kinda like Sirocco. And um, aged bronze. So I'm. We have not, you know, gotten a message or anything like this. Okay, we have ma the material as plastic. I just see that it was not in the title, so that could have, you know, led to if a person wasn't familiar with Dart being plastic, then that could have been a surprise for them. Um, I think the. The base is plastic, but the ring is metal, is what it looks like, he said. So anyway, you know that that plastic stuff from back in the day, 60s, 70s, Sirocco, Homco, Dart, they were all kind of brands that did that kind of stuff. Then this belt, Bison Designs, these are just kind of an easy pickup. I pick them up, usually at our little clearance center, the belt bin. And this one sold for $20. It had a nice geometric pattern on it. And it's just like a nylon web belt. And um, they're made in the USA. I think they're 90s. They could still be making them. I don't know. They just kind of have that 90s look to them. But very just simple little belt that might get overlooked. But they're usually just a bread and butter belt sale for us. This was fun. This definitely, these definitely did come from the clearance center um, in the little their craft section. 
I just thought they were super cute. They were in a bag and they were with um, the kit that the person had made, like one of them, like this one, I think, still had the envelope to show what kit they came from. And so she had made, you know, someone had finished and done these three little quilt things. They're little, right? They're just kind of like five inches tall or six inches tall or something like that. Oh, eight and a half by seven. Sorry. They, that includes the hanger. And um, the brand was Cross My Heart was, I think you can see, here's, here's some of the kits other people are selling. So I just thought, you know what, someone's going to want these little completed things. And I got good feedback on them. They were happy with those. $24.99. They paid for those. Then Patagonia. So I, local thrift store, picked this up for about $5. It's a Patagonia Cinchilla Snap Tea Fleece is what they're called. Um, you know, they're like a quarter snap right here and then you'll recognize it with the, con the, the pocket that's like, like a solid color, like the flap. And if you can find any of these snap tees, I mean, the, these snap tee fleeces always sell, but any with patterns can do really, really well. Um, some patterns are harder to find than others and so will sell for really good money. This one, I guess, was just a little bit more common, and it, I ended up selling it for $40, but probably within a week or so. And then another hat sold for $18, just a vintage trucker kind of style hat with this big patch on it. Don't ask me what American Bosch is. I have no idea. Then over on Poshmark, we had a pair of Dansko sandals. I believe these, uh, I don't know. We might have picked these up at different times, but there's another pair that you'll see later on. And I just remember one day, Mr. Pishposh went to our clearance center right at the end of the day, and they were clearing out all the shoes and bringing out a bunch of new shoes. And so he ended up getting a few pairs of Dansko sandals that day. Um, I'm thinking these might have been one of the pairs from that day. But anyway... Not huge money, but $25, easy peasy. They were in good enough condition. They didn't need much work. This beanie has a brim on it. The brand is Cole. It sold for 17. And Justin Boots with the barbed wire on it, distressed. We seem to do pretty well. I think I've said that before with Justin, Ariat, that type of thing. Um, baseball caps, especially on Poshmark is where they seem to sell the best. This was a fun little sale. Just, it was in the vests at Goodwill and it's Polish, just like a, I don't know. I just called it a folk vest. It had, um, velvet and all these sequins and things like that. Sold it for $50. Um, the buyer messaged me that day and said, you know, would you be able to ship it today if I buy it? And I said, yeah, we haven't gone to the post office yet. So for sure. And I think then she sent me the $50 offer. I took it and then we shipped it right away. And then this Filson hat sold for $55. We like that brand. I think we were even sending maybe lower offers on eBay Kind of like what we talked about in the live where sometimes Mr. Pishposh is dropping the price, but I don't <laughs> over on Poshmark. And so um, I took a $55 offer over on Poshmark for this one. And then another Filson item sold. Another one of those pairs of pants uh, sold for $65. So that was a good deal. I think I paid about 10 the price has kind of varied on what I paid. I know I, I bought those fills and pants on half price day at the thrift, but they do tend to kind of mark stuff up because they know they have half off days. And here's the other pair of Dansko sandals, $22 for those. One little sale on Ruby Lane. It was after the, 
the sale weekend and so I think the buyers were kind of shopped out for a little while but I did sell this pewter wine bottle wine bottle coaster um, it's sold for $35 over on Etsy, the vintage shop over on Etsy that we still do, Mr. Pishposh puts stuff on there. It's hot and cold, so, you know, he can, like, put a bunch of stuff and nothing happens. And then I we have noticed that if sell one item, then we'll be kind of visible for a few days and we'll sell a bunch of stuff and then it kind of tapers off again. But anyway, this was just a mug I got at Goodwill for 99 cents it's Dansk and I'll show you the mark on the bottom Dansk made in Japan this particular but the Dansk stoneware dishes and plates do pretty well this is just called BLT and then the color there's I think a brown version as well $16 for that then he also sold this soda seltzer bottle for $34.99 we picked this up on our travels at a Goodwill. Don't remember what we paid for that one. Um, this was, I'm thinking this vase came from a friend's yard sale that we ended up with the leftovers or something like that. So $16 for this. It went overseas and they paid way more in shipping than $16. So they must have really wanted it. Then this was kind of cool. This was um, a pottery piece and the maker was Hager, as you can see. And it's just basically like a plant stand, like a little pedestal, but it was black. I thought that, would, I thought that was kind of interesting. And so it ended up selling over on Etsy when we cross posted it with Vendu and it sold for $35. This was probably one of our best sales of the week beside the personal um, tool there, which, you know, doesn't really count for profit. But these were at Goodwill. I remember they weren't even over in the glassware. I don't know if someone had picked them up. and Well, that's not true. The Goodwill, they like to put a lot of things, not just knickknacks, but they put some dishes and things like that over on top of the clothing racks. And um, I remember seeing these and seeing the Briard name on them, which is always nice to see when you see these types of um, decorated glassware because sometimes it's hard to figure out the maker. So I saw the name and I said, oh, we're going to try that. And they sold for $89. So that was pretty good. And I think they were 99 cents a piece. They would have been $2 each at the most. But I have a memory of them being 99 cents. Then uh, just two patterns. This Simplicity Very Basic Sheath Dress Pattern for $9. And then this Vogue um, kind of fun log and look outfit pattern for 15 And I believe I have sold that pattern more than once. Then over on Mercari... We have not been paying much attention to Mercari. There's a lot about Mercari that bugs us. <laughs> it's a very love-hate relationship with Mercari, but um, $12. I think we had these listed as they, they were brand new, and they came in a, a box of four. And they're, they're Sanka. They're just kind of heavy-duty plastic mugs. And um, this lady only wanted two, so we went ahead and divvied those up, and she bought those for 12 And then a t-shirt we got at Goodwill one day when men's clothing was half off. So three bucks or so, two to three dollars for that, and um, Hoka, but combined with Iron Man, so it has both logos on there. Just thought that was interesting, and it sold on... Mercari for $23. Okay, so that's it for that week. I still am catching up, obviously, on these What Sold videos, and I am working on the women's belts video. I was doing research today as well as pulling out my belt stash, my profit pile of belts, and um, I got some listed today just to kind of see how they do and doing some research about what brands you know, might be worth picking up in the women's belts category. 
So that'll be coming out later this week. And anyway, I hope you guys are doing great. You guys know what to do at the end of a what sold video. You leave a comment down below for letting me know how your sales are going. What I also do always appreciate is when you guys let me know when you sell something that I've talked about on my channel. So that's that's always fun to get those kind of um, that kind of feedback that uh, maybe some of the research I'm doing and sharing with you is paying off. So that's always gratifying. Okay, I think that's it for me today and I will talk to you guys later on this week.